What is going on? Today's topic, we are going to cover how to awaken from self-talk. This is a lifelong journey. Some people are fortunate enough to have a complete ego death. Eckhart Tolle is one of them, but I don't know if lucky enough is the word. He suffered quite a bit until he went through ego death, but what your ego is essentially is identification. You identify with everything throughout your mind, your life. It's my cup. It's my thought. I did that. I did this. It's my car. It's my house. It's my family, my pet, my thing. Your ego is always striving to identify with absolutely everything. This causes suffering in our lives. The way that it causes suffering is there's always something to obtain. And situations don't stay the same forever. So when you get something that you wanted so badly, you are happy for a moment. When you finally accomplish that goal, you're happy for a moment. When you finally get that new shiny car, you are happy for an afternoon. And the ego is always there in the background. Just yap, 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 yapping away. Always commenting, always giving a narrative of what's going on, a narrative of how things are happening, a narrative of how things are playing out. And until you are able to awaken to this, you don't even realize what's happening. You're completely lost in mind. You can be completely lost in mind-made suffering. And this isn't a bad thing. Sometimes the suffering pushes you to awaken, to realize that you are not your thoughts. How can you begin to awaken from self-talk? Through observation. Observation is key. Allowing yourself to cultivate the habit of watching your thoughts. You can make a game of it. It can be kind of fun. I tease myself about my ego pretty regularly. This is my cup, my cat, my YouTube channel. Whenever I notice myself doing it, I just laugh about it, make it a big deal. Make fun of myself over it. because you'll go right back to it. And the ego was a mechanism that helped us to observe the world around us, to have thought identity with what's happening all around. The ego gets a bad reputation. It's just identification though. I 
I've heard it taught that there's a higher ego, higher ego and lower ego. And the higher ego is anything that you identify with. The lower ego is, I'm the most amazing thing in the whole wide world. In truth, it's all ego. Anything that you identify with or as is ego. And you can have inspired action that comes from consciousness. Awareness is the first step to awaken from self-talk and the suffering that can be created from self-talk. There's always some commentary going on inside of our minds and becoming aware of it is a really good tool to help you observe asking really deep questions and using observation is the best way to start to change things that are happening internally you can ask yourself questions a really good question to ask is is this true am i sure that it's true how do i know that it's true be open-minded be an investigator. Don't take any information for granted. Especially information that your mind is feeding you. We are not inclined to doubt the voice in our head. Sometimes our self-talk can be the biggest liar of all. It can tell us stories about a situation and after the dust is settled and you end up talking to somebody else that was involved in the situation, they have a completely different view of things than you did. Who's right? You get more than two people involved, you'll have that many more viewpoints of the same situation. This is why it's so important to start to observe the self-talk that we have, to start to question that constant yammering that goes on in your mind. Presence is a great way to do this. Stepping back, becoming the observer, and asking yourself questions about the thoughts that you're thinking. Noticing when you start to overthink things, when you start to obsess over things, you can ask yourself, will this really be that important in a year? <laughs> if not, we'll let it go. Just set that burden down. I challenge you this week, maybe put a hair tie around your wrist, wear a bracelet, and whenever you notice it, check in. Take a moment to observe your self-talk. If you make it a habit, you can check in many, many times a day. 
And once you start doing it, you might be pretty amazed at the bullshit that your mind is telling you. I read somewhere that 80% of our thoughts are repetitive and 90% of them are negative. And the way to get that to change is to start with observation. And if you notice that you are stuck in a negative mind pattern, think three positive thoughts. Find gratitude. And gratitude is the great equalizer. And make this a practice, make it a daily practice. It will take time. All these things take time. But over time, you can start to change your life. One day you'll wake up and you'll think, man, I feel like a completely different person. And it's wonderful. So don't let your self talk rule you. You are the observer. You're not ruled by your thoughts. I would really appreciate it if you'd leave me a comment and let me know what you've observed. I'd love to hear your feedback and also let me know if there's any topics you want me to discuss in the future. Really appreciate it. Until next time, like this video, share with a friend, subscribe so that you can see all my future videos, and I really hope you have a great week. May love and light be yours.